Hey fam, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So I seen this type of video going around YouTube and I wanted to come here today and give my younger self some advice. So stay tuned. All right fam, so I have six pieces of advice that I wanna to give to my younger self. So the very first thing is self, sis, don't worry about all that teasing that you went through. Like all of the teasing that you experienced when you were younger from your siblings, from your classmates, don't even matter. Now, for those of you who are new to my channel, I got teased about me and my dark complected skin. And that was the plight and the weight that was on my shoulders when I was younger. So don't worry about all of that, sis. You pull through that miraculously. You are a beautiful dark sister who has no trouble finding a date. <laughs> you have you will you will get married very soon that marriage won't work out but it's for other reasons and i'll cover that in a moment but as far as the teasing goes don't worry about the teasing because kids are just cruel and they don't realize how powerful their words are and the hurt and pain that it's causing the person that is receiving the message, i.e. you and I. But it's okay. You never tried to slice your wrists, hang yourself, commit suicide. None of that was on the menu. And at the age of 18, when you joined the United States Navy, the teasing ceased to exist. It's never come up again. Now, you do experience some emotional scars. You had super low self-esteem because of that. But you didn't even realize when you was younger how the words ugly and dark skin never correlated. See, you would always hear how dark your skin was and why you so black? Were you burnt in the oven? How come you and your sibling are not the same color? How come he's so much lighter than you? You heard a lot of that stuff. But you never once heard you were ugly. But you didn't realize that until you were much older. And because of that, that actually helps you in the long run. Because you are helping pass along and share your message with millions of people. People that can actually relate to what you're saying and deal with it without having to go through the same feelings, pain, hurt, depression, lightweight depression. And just like, whoa, why did this happen to me? With you being able to share your experiences with them, they're connecting to you. Which leads me to the second point. You're not alone. You are not alone in this teasing factor. Yes, your teasing may have happened because of your dark chocolate skin. But the main person that comes to mind, the guy that always comes up who did this the most, I'm sure he got teased about something too. And others got teased about different things, like maybe they had holes in their shoes, or maybe their pants were a lot shorter than their legs, i.e. you used to call them high waters back in the day. Or maybe they lived with rats and roaches, or maybe they lived in what we deem as the ghetto. You didn't have to live there. Maybe they had a funny shaped head. Again, you're not alone. 
most people experience some form of teasing. We like to now call it bullying, especially when it goes overboard. But when you were growing up, you never experienced anybody putting their hands on you or having to deal with the social media and them bullying you and you feeling like, I need to go, you know, we need to go slice our wrists or hang ourselves or commit suicide. We didn't go through none of that, honey. So you was good. You're not alone, and kids also don't realize how much weight their words carry. They also, um, they're not realizing that the reason why they were picking on you and teasing you is because they were picked on and teased at their own household. And maybe they were the weak link at their household. And so in order to make themselves feel better, they had to come and find somebody else that they deemed as the weak link, i.e. you and I, and then tease you to make your to make his self feel better. Now, he wasn't the only person that teased you, but he was the one who consistently teased you every moment he could. But it's okay. You got over him too. And then you found out many years later that he actually liked you, which is crazy, but that's a different video. <laughs> You're okay. You moved away, realized that you weren't alone. And then as soon as you left home, as I already said, you ain't had no trouble with the dating portion of it. You did have an issue of your self-esteem. Your self-esteem was shot. And you were trying to figure out a way to build up your confidence. And you really didn't know how to build up your confidence. But that guy, that first guy that you started to date, that one who became your husband, that was the guy who helped you build up your confidence, build up your self-esteem, accept all of you, love all of you. But we'll come back to him in a moment. The third thing that I want to tell you, sis, is to forgive your mom sooner. Forgive her for the conversations that did not take place, especially those conversations that you wanted to have when it came to being in a relationship, dating and courting and all of that stuff. You see, because you do have that conversation much later in life. And you realize that your mom never had that conversation with you because she didn't date herself. And so she was not able to pass along the information to you because she didn't have it. She was never taught it. She got teased herself. So she couldn't even help you in that arena. She could make you feel better as far as giving you a hug and a kiss. But she couldn't really give you the words could she really couldn't console you the way that you needed to be consoled because she didn't have the tools to do it. And when you guys have this conversation, you'll notice that your relationship is that much closer. So forgive your mom sooner than you forgave her. The next piece of advice goes into the dating. I want you to date as much as possible. Like, if you can change it, your opportunity is now to change it. Date as much as possible so you don't have to experience the divorce. But on the flip side of that, you're not going to listen anyway. Because you're strong will got a strong head. But that's okay. You will get married. And you will get a divorce. And the reason why you got a divorce is because of the choices that you made. And also because of the low self-esteem, you latched onto the very first guy who showed you some respectable attention, who made you feel good. Y'all laughed a lot. He did. Again, he helped you with your confidence so much more than even he realizes. You hated your long toes. He made you feel beautiful. He bought you your first pair of sandals because when you met him, you was no longer wearing sandals because your siblings teased you about your long toes. So you didn't wear sandals. You hid them. You got teased about your dark skin. You tried to bleach your skin before, but you hated the way the product smelled. And then the bleaching didn't even do a good job. 
But that's actually a benefit for you because even these things, you can actually share them with your audience. And they too can see that they're not alone. You'll be able to help others out there to let them know, you know what, it's okay. Life can be rough sometimes, but all of these things that you went through, all of the hurt and pain that you experienced were your life lessons. And they were everything that you needed in order to help to mold you into the woman that you have become. So it's a-okay, honestly. It really is. It's okay, sis. Don't feel bad about the divorce. Don't feel bad about not dating multiple people before you got married the first time. All of that helped to shape you into the beautiful woman that you are today. You're strong. You're smart. You're beautiful. You have so much charisma. And you totally love all of you, including your chocolate skin. The last thing that I want to leave with you, sis, is know that you are awesome. Everything about you is awesome. From your kinky hair to your chocolate dark skin to your long toes, everything about you is awesome. So now, go out there and create the future that you want to have. Love you.